What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we are going to go over how to figure out your playing style as a basketball player. Let's get started. All right guys, well today's video is all about figuring out and helping you decide what your playing style is like. And there's a couple of different things I want you to think about as I'm talking through this video to help you figure out your playing style. Now the first thing I wanna dive into is obviously your size. Your size is gonna help determine your position, maybe your playing style as well, to just help you figure out what you're gonna be good at in order to succeed and be great on the basketball court. So if you're about 5'10", you know, 5 Five, eight, more, more than likely your skill set and your playing style is going to be probably more guard oriented. You're not going to be on the block, you're not going to be posting up any defenders because at that point in time you're not as tall, you're not as big as defenders may, may be. So in that position you're going to be more of a guard. So your size really determines you know, your playing style and the things that you may be able to do and may not be able to do. All right, now if you're 6'6", 6'7", 6'8", maybe you'll find yourself more around the basket more times than often. Or you might be able to play out in the perimeter because of your skill set that presents itself. But your size is really important when thinking about your playing style because I'll get guys that, you know, will be 5'10", but think they're a post. And I'm like, hey, you're 5'10", you gotta be able to figure out what things that you can do on the perimeter as a guard in order to put yourself in a successful position and make yourself the best player possible. Then I'll have guys I've that I've coached who are 6'8", 6'9", 6'10", that want to be point guards. I'm like, hey, you can handle the basketball, that's fine, but when there's times that you need to dominate inside and in the paint, you need to do that. If you want to stretch the court a little bit, that's fine, but I need you to dominate the paint. You're 6'10", get down there and score some buckets. So your size can determine your playing style as well, so I really want you to really think about that at first because I get a lot of comments that we see that say, hey, I'm 5'8", what position should I play? Well, what, how old are you? Are you 5'8", and are you 17 years old? You're a point guard, because more, most likely you're done growing. But are you 5'8", and you're in the sixth grade? You have time to really figure out what your game is gonna be like. So you have to think about your size when it comes to figuring out your playing style and position that you're trying to play. All right, next we're gonna be talking about our skill set. What kind of skills do you bring to the table? Again, this comes into context with your size. Are you one that's able to handle the basketball? Are your handles good? That's gonna really determine what you play. Are you a good ball handler? So you're gonna be more of a guard-oriented player unless if you're 6'7", 6 6'8", 6 6 6'9", 6 6'10", that can handle the basketball, that's fine as well. What's your shooting ability like? Can you stretch the court all the way out to the three-point line? Or are you just more uh, better at close range, you know, 12 feet and in? Is that what you're good at? That would mean you're better inside the paint, you're better around the basket than you are on the perimeter. But that's also really, again, with your size and your skill set. If you're a 5'10 guard that can handle the basketball, then you're gonna be playing a point guard or a two guard. If you're 5'8", you shoot the basketball, you'll be playing on the perimeter. If you're 5'8", you can't dribble, and then you gotta work on your ball handling. If you're 5'8", and all you're good at is shooting around the basket, then you're gonna have to learn how to expand your game and work on things like that. But you have to know your skill set or as a player, what's your strengths, what's your weaknesses, are you a good shooter at the perimeter, can you handle the basketball, are you better in the paint, are you just good around the basket, things like that. Are you a defensive player, you really have to think about what things and the intangibles that you bring to the game in order to figure out your playing style because I've seen guys that are 6'8 that can handle the basketball, that can shoot the ball all the way out to the perimeter, things like that, so it's like wow he's 6'8, 6'9 but he can handle the basketball like a point guard and shoot like a shooting guard. That's a, that's a great overall play player right there because that means they've expanded their game, they've worked on things in order to utilize in all areas of the court. If they have a bigger player on them, they're able to handle the basketball and drive right by them. If they have somebody smaller, they can take them down to the paint and score over the top of them. So you have to be able to figure out what your playing style is like and that will be based upon what your size is and the skills that you bring to the table. Again, if you want to be a multi-dimensional player, which I recommend you do, then you have to work on all facets of the game because I run into players who are told they're post and they say all their all their coaches want me to do is shoot hook shots well if you're trying to expand your game maybe you want to work on your ball handling and maybe your mid-range shooting then do that 
work on the necessary steps in and to improve and expand that position. But those are a few things that I just wanted to share with you in order to figure out what your playing style may be. And count with your size and the skills that you bring to the table in order to figure out what your playing style is. That will help you determine those two things right there. All right, Hoopers, well that's it. Very short video, but very straight to the point when trying to figure out your playing style, your size, and the skills that you can bring to the table will help you determine just that. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, click the subscribe button and join the Think Pro Basketball family because every week what we do is release new videos by helping you improve your game. That's what we're trying to do, and give you the knowledge, the skills, and the drills to help you take your game to the next level. So if you like today's video, click the like button. Also, we'd love if you leave the comment and let us know what you think of this video and anything you would like to see in the future so we can continue to do our job and do what we love by helping you improve your game. So until I see you again next time, figure out what your playing style is. Go look in the mirror, see how tall and big you are, and then look back and see what kind of skills you bring to the court. And remember to always keep hooping.